116 times Jesus said, but I say unto you. He knew when he came into the world, the devil in the Garden of Eden had captured the narrative and he was in control and he said death, he said steal, he said kill, and man was just had to go along. But Jesus said, I am here now and the word has become flesh and I'm dwelling among you and the enemy says you're defeated and, you're, and, you're, and you don't have a hope and you don't have a future, but I say unto you. I say he's not going to kill, steal, and destroy everything pleasant in your life. I have come to give you life and give it more abundantly. Victory has a voice. You have to talk victory. You have to get to that moment, and I love it because there came that moment when something snapped in him. Something said, I have surrendered and gave up all that I'm going to give up. I'm taking everything you've got, Ben Hadad said. And he said, I was, when I started this conversation, okay. And some of you have your back against the wall. The enemy is coming right now like a flood, like a whirlwind. And he's promising to reduce you down to ashes and nothing but dust. And I love the power of an anointed service. Because you're watching me on television and the enemy said, I want your gold and your silver and your business is under attack. And, he, and he's come and he said, I want your children and your children are under attack. And your marriage is, I want your wife, I want your husband. It's all hitting on every front. And then he's going through saying, I'm going to take the pleasure and the joy out of life. I'm going to make you so miserable, so maimed that you can't even enjoy. You don't have peace. I want you sucking your teeth. I want you negative. I want you're walking around just hating life and bitter and angry and mad and upset. Everything pleasant, I'm coming after it. And that might be how you walked in here, but you came to the wrong service and you're watching the wrong program because the prophet showed up with a word from the Lord in the text that I read. And that word is still alive in this year, in this day, in this hour, and in our lives and our families. 